Welcome to Company of Heroes. Company of Heroes is a real-time strategy game that focuses on frontline combat, capturing key strategic points and leading your company to victory. Welcome to basic training. This training exercise will cover unit selection, camera control, and basic orders. During the game, you will receive objectives to complete. Here's an example. You can see your objectives listed on the left side of the screen. Moving your mouse cursor over the objective icon reveals its description. Try this now and move. Good. If the objective is off screen, an arrow will point to it. For training purposes, the description and direction arrow will remain on screen. Good. Now, we will cover how to select units. This is a rifleman squad, the basic infantry unit. Note the rifleman icon and the squad's health bar above the unit. In Company of Heroes, you issue orders to squads, not individual soldiers. A squad needs to be selected before you can give them orders. Left click on the rifleman's... Call in riflemen. Good. You can see they're selected by the circle on the ground around them. All selected squads are shown on the selection panel in the middle of the taskbar. You can access the squad's abilities from the command panel on the right. The mini-map is shown on the left side of the taskbar. It displays an overview of the entire battlefield. To get more information about anything on the taskbar, move your mouse over it. This will display additional information in the help text. Here's an engineer squad. You can select several squads at the same time by holding the left mouse button and dragging a selection box over both of them. Excellent. You can see both squads in the selection panel of the taskbar. You can cycle through each squad in your... Good. You can now give orders to this individual squad and use their special abilities in the command panel. Left click on the group select I... Good. Our engineers are being deployed elsewhere. We will now cover unit movement. All basic orders in the Company of Heroes are issued using the right mouse button. To issue a move order to your rifleman squad, right good. In order to move units outside the immediate viewable area, you will need to pan the camera. Moving your mouse cursor to the edge of the screen, good. Now follow the objective arrow and pan the camera until you see the road intersection. Excellent. Now, order the squad to move here by right... Good. Good. Now you get the basic idea. Left click to select units Right-click to issue basic orders. In Company of Heroes, you can rotate the camera to see more of the battlefield. To do this, hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and move... That's it. To return the camera to its default position, press the back... Excellent. You can also zoom in and zoom out. Fantastic. Again, pressing backspace will return your camera to its default. Company of Heroes is best played from the default camera position. Let's move on out. Issue a move order to the indicated position up the road. Notice that as your squad moves, they reveal more of the surrounding landscape. This is the fog of war. Your units can only see what is immediately around them. Well done. Your squad is in position. An event queue has appeared on the left of the screen to let you know that enemies have been spotted.
click on the event queue. An Axis patrol is moving in and trying to capture our strategic point. Notice that enemy units are shown in red. Your units are shown in blue. Right click on the enemy troops to attack them. Notice your mouse changes to an attack cursor as you mouse over the enemy squads. Enemy unit down. Good job. Now, let's get that strategic point back. Right click on the strategic point. Notice your mouse changes to a capture cursor when you mouse over a strategic point. Excellent. This concludes basic training. You've earned your stripes. You have learned how to select units, move the camera, and how to use the right mouse button to issue basic commands. Click continue to return to base. Welcome to infantry combat training. We'll be commanding an airborne infantry squad and learning how to use cover, flank the enemy, and use abilities. So far, we've issued commands with the right mouse button. However, using abilities from the taskbar is done with the left mouse button. Left click on the flashing button, then left click on the indicated position to deploy your parachute. Your squad is parachuting in now. In Company of Heroes, using abilities is always done with the left mouse button. These guys are airborne infantry, elite paratroopers that can be airdropped anywhere on the battlefield. Airborne, ready for duty. The red shield displayed next to the squad's icon indicates the squad is exposed. Exposed squads are especially vulnerable to enemy fire. Let's order the paratroopers into better cover. Select your pair. Right click on. near the indicator. The yellow dots on the ground show areas of light cover. Light cover offers limited protection from enemy fire. Good. The yellow shield icon over your squad shows they are in light cover. Let's move again. Right click near the stone wall to move. The green dots represent areas of heavy cover. Good. As you can see, the shield is now green. Your squad is now in heavy cover. Time to move into enemy territory. Let's use the attack move ability. Remember, targeted abilities like attack move are confirmed with a left click. Left click on the attack move button in the taskbar. Then pan the camera to the target location and left click. Safety Squads zone, using okay. attack move will automatically attack the enemy and then continue to their destination. Enemy sighted. Enemy patrol destroyed. Mortars incoming. A Kraut mortar team has been spotted near the chapel. Attack the mortar squad by right clicking on them. As you've seen, your squads will automatically use cover when attacking. Good work. Notice your squad was promoted to veteran status. There are three ranks of veterancy in Company of Heroes. All units gain veterancy the longer they are in combat, making them more effective on the battlefield. Recon shows the enemy has set up a heavy machine gun team to cover the road. We need to take it out. Attack the heavy machine gun team by right-clicking on it. Give a 
squad is taking enfilade fire from that MG. This is the MG's arc of fire. We need to stay out of this area. Order your... Excellent. Let's throw a grenade to destroy the machine guns. Left click on the flashing grenade icon in the taskbar. And then left click on the machine gun team to set the... Using abilities like grenades costs resources. The machine gun team is out of action. Now, let's take over that MG-42. Time for a little payback. Capture the heavy machine gun by right-clicking on it. Take Airborne. Excellent. You now control two squads, a heavy machine gun team and a paratrooper squad. Now, let's redeploy the heavy machine gun to cover the road using the set facing command. Select your heavy machine gun. Hold down the right mouse button over the MG team and drag the mouse in the direction of the arrow. Release the button to order the heavy machine gun team. Stand by, you can issue a set facing command to all squads and vehicles in Company of Heroes. Out, Incoming enemy patrol. Notice that your squads automatically attack nearby enemies. Patrol destroyed. More paratroopers are inbound to our position. Before our final objective, we need to capture the nearby strategic point to extend our front lines. Select the new paratrooper. Right click on the nearby strategic point to capture it. Point is ours. This sector is now under our control. Time to upgrade your squad. Upgrade your paratroopers by left-clicking on the flashing recoilless rifle icon. Yes, sir. Recoilless rifles are heavy anti-tank weapons that are effective against vehicles and structures. Excellent. Notice the upgrade icon above the health bar on the squad indicator. Time to attack the enemy and clear out the area. Order your squads to destroy the enemy machine gun team defending this farm using what you've learned so far. Remember, use cover and grenades. Good luck. During infantry training, you learned how to use cover, flank enemy positions, upgrade your squads, and use targeted abilities like grenades. Infantry training complete. Dismissed. Welcome to base operations training. During this exercise, we will cover base construction, how to capture territory, and how to build defenses. Our headquarters is located in this farmhouse. The HQ is your most crucial structure. With it, you call in reinforcements and off-map support. First, let's deploy an engineer squad. To do this requires resources. As you can see on your taskbar, you have no resources.
For training purposes, we'll give you enough resources to get started. But normally, you earn resources by capturing territory sectors. We'll explore this later. There are three types of resources in Company of Heroes. Manpower, munitions, and fuel. Manpower is your primary resource. You spend manpower to deploy squads and vehicles. To deploy an engineer squad, select the HQ now. Left click on the flat. Engineers are your basic construction squad. They can build defenses and base structures. Your engineers are ready for duty. Let's begin construction of a barracks. First, select your engineers. Left click the flashing button. To build a barracks, left click the flashing button and then left click at the indicated location to order your base structures can only be built near the HQ and on open ground. If the build preview turns red, you cannot build at that location. Barracks Good. The barracks allows you to deploy basic infantry troops to the battlefield and upgrade your squads. Time to call in a rifleman squad. Select your barracks. Now, left click on the rifleman button. Again, notice that you have spent manpower to deploy the rifleman squad. The rifleman squad is now displayed in the build queue. You can cancel any item in the queue by left clicking on it. Rally points can be set by using the rally point icon and then newly deployed squads will automatically move to that location. You've spent all of your resources. We'll now show you how to earn more. Remember, there are three types of resources in Company of Heroes, manpower, munitions, and fuel. Let's start with manpower. A constant stream of manpower is generated from your headquarters and from the total number of territory sectors you control. The first number in the highlighted area shows the total amount of manpower you currently have. The second number shows how much manpower you are earning per minute. Munitions is the second resource. You spend munitions to upgrade your squads and use special abilities like throwing grenades. A constant stream of munitions is generated by capturing munitions sectors such as this one. Fuel is the final resource and is spent to deploy heavy vehicles, base structures, and to purchase global upgrades. A constant stream of fuel is generated by capturing fuel sectors like this one. The mini-map shows the location of all resource points. To get a more detailed view of the battlefield, click on the flashing button to bring up the tactical map. This is the tactical map. The battlefield is divided up into a number of territory sectors. Each sector has an icon which represents the location of the strategic point and the type of resource it provides. The more sectors you control, the more manpower you will receive. To return to the game view, click on the exit button and we'll select your rifleman squad. Rifle. Right click on, on the munitions point to capture it. Right, good. You've captured the point, and now you control the territory sector. As you can see on the mini-map, the sector is now blue, indicating it is allied territory. However, the sector is also flashing. This means it is out of supply, and you are not receiving resources from it. Bring up the tactical map to get a better understanding. The munitions sector you've just captured is here. As you can see, it's not connected to your HQ sector here. This means it is out of supply. Out of supply territories do not generate any resources. To bring the munitions sector into supply, you need to capture this connecting sector. Double click on the strategic point symbol to zoom in on that location. Sometimes the enemy will be defending strategic points. Eliminate the enemy. 
then capture the strategic point. Sometimes the enemy will be defending strategic points. Eliminate the enemy, then capture the strategic point. Enemy unit down. Oh, we'll take it, all right. Sometimes the enemy will be defending strategic points. Eliminate the enemy, then capture the strategic point. Excellent. Strategic points are vital in establishing your front lines and territory. Now, let's return to the munition sector. The munition sector is now in supply and generating a constant stream of resources. The resources a sector generates is indicated on its icon. Notice this matches your current munitions rate on the taskbar. Now, we need to secure the munitions sector to increase your munitions intake and make it harder for the enemy to capture. Now click on the flashing Field Defenses button on the command panel. Left click on the Observation Post button and then left click on the munitions point. They said the army would be an easy paycheck. Damn assholes! Construction now that the observation post is complete, the sector is secure. Notice that your munitions rate has increased. More importantly, the enemy will need to destroy your observation post before they can capture your sector. This area is crawling with German patrols. Time to defend our front lines. Select your engineer squad. Engineers, click on the flashing field the emplacements here. button. Left click on the MG emplacement button and then position it by left clicking on the indicated location. Finally, set the facing of the MG emplacement to cover the northern approach. MG emplacement on the double. We Excellent. Construction. Enemy incoming. The MG emplacement will automatically engage. Fantastic. The MG emplacement is suppressing the enemy troops. They're retreating. However, the Germans know we're here now, and they'll be back with more troops. We need to fortify our position. In Company of Heroes, you can garrison local buildings which provide excellent cover for squads during combat. Order the engineers to garrison the nearby building by right-clicking on it. Good. Buildings can also be upgraded into a forward barracks, allowing you to deploy troops closer to the front. Select the local building. Left click on the flashing button to upgrade it. Only buildings and supplied sectors can be upgraded into a forward barracks. Now you can deploy infantry squads from this building in exactly the same way you do from a barracks. Now deploy a rifleman squad from your Excellent. Select your rifleman squad. Use the rifleman squad to capture the indicated strategic point. Oh, we'll take it, all right. Use the rifleman squad to capture the indicated strategic point. Use the rifleman squad has the objective. The flash.
flashing yellow indicators above your squad shows that they are being suppressed. While suppressed, your squads will dive to the ground and crawl to avoid being hit. The flashing red indicator shows your squad is now pinned. Pinned units are ineffective and will take heavy casualties unless you retreat. Left click the flash retreat will break any suppression or pinning effects on your squads and give them a defensive bonus. Your squad is safe now, but they took some casualties. You can reinforce squad members one member at a time. Select your rifleman. Click the flashing button to reinforce your squad back up to full strength. Squads can only reinforce if they are near a base structure, a forward barracks, or a half track. Notice you have earned experience. You gain experience by capturing territory, building structures, and fighting the enemy. Once you've gained enough experience, you're rewarded with a command point. You can use command points to unlock special abilities. To do this, left click on the flashing company commander button. There are three companies you can choose, infantry, airborne, and armor. Each has its own special abilities and unique units. For training, we'll choose the infantry company. However, during the game, you'll be able to pick the company that best fits your playstyle. Click on the Infantry Company icon to select it. Then, click the Accept button to confirm. Here are the special abilities available to you as an Infantry Company Commander. The Defensive Operations ability allows your rifleman to build defenses. Click on the Defensive Operations button. Then, click the Accept button to confirm your choice and the Germans will be counterattacking. We need to defend this area with sandbags. Select your rifleman. Left click on the build field. Def left click at the indicated location. Now drag the mouse to the fi Good. Your riflemen are now building the wall section by section. Sandbags provide heavy cover. You can move infantry behind this wall to give them cover against incoming fire. Okay, done building. Move it, squad! Let's go. On our way! Strike damage! Left click on the flashing button to unlock a devastating art. Use the artillery strike ability to defeat the German attack. Okay, take cover. Establish your base, call in additional troops, capture territory, defend your front lines, and use company commander abilities to defeat the enemy. This completes base operations. Welcome to Armor Training. 
We've just got word that a convoy from Baker Company has come under attack north of our current position. Select your Sherman tank. Use your Sherman tank to move to the ambush site. I said advance! Use your Sherman tank to move to the ambush Order your Sherman. That was a direct hit, but it did little damage because of the Panzer's heavy armor. You need to flank the enemy tank and attack its rear armor, which is weaker. Issue a move order to the position. Good. You scored a hit to its rear armor. Sherman on the attack. That shot from the Panzer scored a critical hit and has immobilized your tank. Notice the unit information display on the taskbar shows the Sherman tank has suffered from a critical hit to its engine. Your tanks can be repaired in the field with the help of the engineer squads. Repairing a vehicle will remove any critical hits it has received. Select your engine. Order your engineers to repair the Sherman by right you have deselected your squad. Left, order your one. engineers to repair the Sherman by right-clicking on it. Order your engineers to rep Excellent. The repairs are complete. There are enemy patrols in this area. To increase the Sherman's effectiveness against infantry, upgrade it with a 50 caliber machine gun. Select your Sherman tank. Click on the flashing button to purchase this upgrade. Understood. Sherman out. Sergeant, Excellent. get an MG on the Notice roof of this the gunner tin can. On the turret it's time to shred some crowds. Recon indicates the Germans have set up a base north of our position. Let's move up and take it out. Order your Sherman to proceed to the indicated location. I said advance! Order your Sherman to proceed to the indicated location. Tank traps are blocking the road. Your Sherman cannot move through the tank traps. Axis infantry spotted. Shreks. They're targeting the Sherman's rear armor. Hold down the right mouse button on the Sherman and drag the mouse in the direction of the enemy. Hold down the right mouse button on the Sherman and drag the mouse in the direction of the enemy. Down the right mouse button. Excellent. Now the Sherman's strongest armor is facing the enemy. Fire me, cannon. Close. Is enemy under. Panzer Shrek's destroyed. We need to continue moving toward the Axis space. Those tank traps are blocking our path. We'll call in a Sherman crocodile to help. Crocodiles are armed with flamethrowers 
and can be upgraded with a bulldozer that can crush tank traps and thick hedgerows. Select your cro upgrade your crocodile. Excellent. You can now activate the bulldozer. Now clear the tank traps by moving the tank through them. You have deselected your tank. Left. Now, excellent. Your tank moves slower while the bulldozer is lowered. You can raise it by left clicking on the bulldozer button in the command panel. Now let's take out that German base. Use both your Sherman and the crocodile. German base destroyed. This completes armor training. During this exercise, we covered tank combat, armor facing, and using tanks to crush objects. Excellent work. Dismissed. Welcome, sir, to 3rd Battalion, Bodica's Boys, 2nd British Army. During this training exercise, you'll familiarize yourself with the British Army of opposing fronts and its command structure. We will cover infantry deployment, lieutenants, mobile command trucks, and defensive emplacements. 3rd Battalion has just moved into the area. We need to move out and capture additional territory. This is an infantry section, the basic infantry squad of the British Army. Left click on your infantry section to select. Now right click on the indicated position. Notice how your squad moves. While moving in friendly territory, all British squads move using their assault stance. The infantry section is now entering neutral territory. Notice the change in stance. When moving in neutral or enemy territory, all squads adopt a patrolling stance. They move more cautiously, sacrificing speed for protection. Let's help them out by deploying a lieutenant. Left click on your command truck to select it. Left click on the flashing button on the command panel to deploy a lieutenant. Lieutenants are the basic officers of the British. They are critical to the success of your army. Excellent, your lieutenant is ready. Select your lieutenant. Move your lieutenant to the inf- Whenever a lieutenant is near infantry, his presence provides discipline to all nearby soldiers. Good. The star over your infantry shows that a lieutenant is nearby. This grants them combat and veterancy bonuses, so it's best to keep the lieutenants close. Since the lieutenant is so critical to the success of your infantry, it is important for him to maintain command range. Left click on the flashing button to order your lieutenant to follow an infantry section. Now left click on the indicated infantry section. Good. Notice the symbol above the lieutenant, indicating that he is now following the infantry section. Select your infantry section. Now, let's order the infantry section to capture that new... Notice that your infantry are moving much more quickly with the lieutenant nearby. Watch out! Incoming enemies! Stay low! Excellent work. Enemy patrol defeated. Your infantry might have had a tough fight. Good thing the lieutenant was there to keep them in line. Proceed with capturing the sector. Proceed with capturing the sector. Good. This sector is now under your control. 
Even though we have captured the munitions point, it is not secure. Unsecured points provide less resources. Let's secure that munitions point now. The British secure territory sectors differently than other armies. They use their mobile command trucks. Command trucks are the backbone of the British Army because they can be deployed anywhere on the battlefield. They allow the British to call in reinforcements where they are needed. More importantly, once deployed, command trucks also secure territory sectors. Select your command truck. Deploy this command truck to the munitions sector that you just captured. Left click on the flashing button to mobilize your... Good. Command truck is mobile. Look at the minimap. All your territory is flashing. Whenever your headquarters command truck is mobile, your controlled territory will not be in supply. Sectors that are not in supply do not generate resources. Order your command truck to the munitions sector. There are many reasons to move your command truck. It grants resource bonuses to the sectors it occupies. It can deploy units closer to the front line or relocate if the enemy is attacking. The command truck is quite vulnerable while moving, so guard it carefully. Now that the HQ is within the munitions sector, we'll need to deploy it to secure the territory. Left click on the flashing button to set up your command. Left click on the indicated position within the sector to order your command truck to begin setting up there. Establish a command headquarters here, Jets. Excellent. You have successfully deployed your command truck. Notice that the territory has stopped flashing. Your territory is now back in supply. Your munitions resource rate has improved dramatically as well. To build a machine gun emplacement, select your infantry section. Click on the flashing button to access your left click on the Position the emplacement by left clicking on the indi- Finally, set the facing of the MG emplacement to cover the northern approach. Left click once more. Then let's get on with it. You should be more Excellent. Careful. British infantry can also build structures like mortar pits or casualty clearing stations. The enemy has discovered our location. Stand to. An MG emplacement is an excellent defense against attacking infantry. The is reporting they destroyed the German target. Good. Enemy infantry neutralized. To provide additional protection for our troops, let's build a slit trench. Click on the flashing button to act. Left click on the flashing. Left click on the indicated location to play. Set the facing of the slit trench. Unique to the British, slit trenches are defensive structures that infantry can garrison for additional protection from enemy fire. Good. Notice that it is unoccupied after construction is complete. An unoccupied slit trench can be garrisoned by anyone, even the enemy. Get in there. NCOs reporting they have destroyed a German target. Get down. Incoming mortar. That mortar is wreaking havoc on our infantry. Order your infantry to do a good job. Trenches provide extra protection against artillery. Let's take out that mortar. Our ground forces are unable to attack that mortar. We'll need to use a company commander ability from the Royal Commanders to attack it. You have been granted access to glider-borne commandos. Gliders are excellent for attacking positions behind the enemy's front line. 
To request a glider, left click on the glider. Now left click on the indicated position to identify the starting. Left click again to target the desired direction you would. Commandos reporting for duty. Order your commandos to take out that mortar. Remember your tactical training. Now you know about some of the unique aspects of the British. You learned about the lieutenants and infantry, command trucks, and how to build emplacements. This concludes this training exercise, sir. Third Battalion awaits. Move in behind that light cover. Welcome to training. Kampfkorpelier standing by. During this exercise, you will learn about the unique aspects of the Panzer Elite and their arsenal of vehicles. You learn how to attack from half-tracks, to capture and secure territory with vehicles, to resupply with the munitions half-track, and to lock down vehicles. Kampfkorpelier has heard reports of enemy infantry in the area. We need to scout their position. First, Panzergrenadiers are the backbone of any Panzer Elite army. They are versatile and able to respond to any enemy threats. They also provide basic logistical support through building base structures and repairing damaged vehicles. Garrison that half-track. We need to move out. Right-click the half-track to order your Panzergrenadiers to get inside. Good. Notice that your Panzergrenadiers have taken up positions in the back. Panzer Elite infantry garrisoned in open-top vehicles can shoot out the back with any equipped weapons. Half-track and Panzergrenadiers are ready for action. Select your half-track. Enemy infantry spotted. Move out and attack them. Order your half-track to attack the indicator squad by right-clicking on it. The Panzergrenadiers are not only transported with the vehicle, but they add additional firepower to the half-track's own machine gun. Enemy infantry defeated. Look out! Counter-attack! We're taking too much damage. We need more firepower. Get a grenade on that infantry. Additional reinforcements available. Left click on the f target the infantry and left Panzer Grenadiers use incendiary grenades. These grenades don't do much initial damage, but in enemy infantry neutralized. Recon reports an enemy infantry squad occupying a nearby slit trench. Let's take them out. This is a mortar half track. This mobile artillery vehicle is quite effective at dealing with entrenched infantry. Select your mortar half-track. Order the mortar half-track to fire an incendiary barrage at the enemy infantry squad. Left-click on the flashing incendiary mortar. Good. Now left-click on the enemy squad to target it. Excellent. Bombardment underway. Excellent. Bombardment underway. You'll notice your barrage was only marginally effective. Several more barrages are needed to fully defeat the enemy squad. Look at the incendiary barrage button. The ability has a long recharge time, preventing you from issuing additional barrages. Let's call in resupply support, the munitions half-track. This vehicle resupplies nearby units by greatly reducing the recharge time of their abilities. Select your order the munitions. Good. The munitions half track is within resupply range. This is indicated by the symbol above the mortar half track. 
Notice the incendiary mortar ability. It is fully charged and ready to fire. Order the half-track to barrage the infantry with incendiary rounds again. Notice the incendiary mortar ability recharges faster if the munitions half-track is nearby. Continue to barrage the enemy squad until they are defeated. Continue to barrage the enemy squad until they are defeated. Continue to barrage the enemy squad until they are defeated. Continue to barrage the enemy squad until they are defeated. Continue to barrage the enemy squad until they are defeated. Continue to barrage the enemy squad until they are defeated. Continue to barrage the enemy squad until they are defeated. Excellent job. Infantry neutralized. For our next objective, let's capture and secure territory. This is a scout car, a Panzer Elite vehicle that can capture strategic points. Select your scout car. Order the scout car to capture the indicated... St the scout car is an excellent recon vehicle. Armed with an MG-42 light machine gun, it is excellent for defeating lightly equipped infantry squads. Good job. The sector is now in our control. Now time to secure it. To secure this sector, you'll need to upgrade your scout car first. Left click on the flashing button to equip this vehicle with logistic support. With this logistic support upgrade, the scout car is able to secure territory. Good. The radio antenna now attached to the roof of your scout car indicates that it has been upgraded to a logistic car. Left click on the flashing button to secure this sector. Understood. Good job. The territory is now secure. Notice that a scout car secured territory is immobile. To mobilize the scout car, left click on the secure sector button again. However, the territory will no longer be secured. Now that the territory is captured and secure, we need to bring in some heavier weapons to protect the scout car. This is a Panzer 4F infantry support tank, affectionately referred to as the Stubby for its short cannon. Select your support Panzer. Order the Panzer to move to... Excellent. Panzer is in position. Ach, incoming enemy. Notice the Panzer's slow rate of fire. You can increase its rate of fire by using its rapid fire ability. Left click on the flashing rapid fire. Good job. The Panzer is able to fire more quickly. However, it is now locked down and cannot move. Many vehicles in the Panzer Elite have the ability to lock down. However, the benefits differ from vehicle to vehicle. As a Panzer Elite commander, knowing when to sacrifice mobility for firepower is crucial for victory. Excellent. Notice your Panzer was promoted to a veteran status. In the command panel, there are two veterancy buttons. 
When Panzer Elite squads and vehicles gain veterancy, this unlocks two special skills, allowing you to customize the combat effectiveness of the unit. The first ability boosts the unit's offensive power, the second its defensive power. With each rank of veterancy, you can choose which ability to apply to the unit. Left click on one of the flashing buttons to apply the bonus. Reporting Excellent. In. Infantry neutralized. Intel reports approaching tanks. The Panzer 4F's gun is no match for the heavy British armor. Time to call in the Luftwaffe company commander. You have been granted access to the... Now left click to target the indicated position for... With this ability, Henschel aircraft will fly by the target location targeting all enemies within their flight path. Left click on the flashing Henschel strafing ability. specialize in scorched earth and tank destroyer tactics. Now you know about some of the unique aspects to the Panzer Elite. You learned about the three types of half-tracks, infantry and vehicle combat, vehicle capturing and securing, and finally, veterancy and lockdown. Excellent work. Panzer Elite training complete. Dismissed. <laughs>